Hi everyone, Great Power 60 here. Welcome to another Tea With Me Tuesday. Unfortunately, I'm not having a tea because I am going to go to bed shortly. As a matter of fact, since this video is over and I post it, whoa, I've had an exhausting week. Um, trying to get my uh, random act of kindness blessing bags ready. I got the last three things today. Um, I had gotten a mittens, socks, and a hat for the kids, but I didn't get scarves, so I bought the scarf to put in their backpack. But uh, mom has really um, gone to the next level of forgetfulness and doesn't know what some words are and com communication with mom, although she wants to. She even teared up today because I didn't know what she was talking about. And she, she, she kept referring to someone else wanting something or doing something. So I went along with her and then she said, where is it? And I said, mom, I don't know what, what you're looking for. Um, what would you like? What, you know, let's go look for it, whatever that was. And I thought it was something in her room or something in the washroom. Sometimes if she asked to go to the bathroom and then she just teared up because, um, and I hate that. And I'm hugging her and holding her and saying, it's okay, mom. It, we don't need it. We don't need it. Whatever it was she wanted. We don't need it. We've got lots. We've got lots. Don't worry. It helped because she was perky right after that. So I think some things come into her mind that, you know, maybe we don't have enough. I mean, I don't know how many times um, I'm getting her plate ready and she's saying, how much do you want? <laughs> you know, like it's, you know, and, and sometimes I think she means, do you want help or something like that? Like I try and interpret and um, she has really kind of really gone down a step a level and um, she's still loving though. I mean, my God, we went out today. I had to go to the dollar store and pick up those scarves and a few other things and some more dishwashing liquid and uh, dishwasher. Uh, pods and um, the young fellow was helping us and you know chatting away whatever and she was talking to him and oh you're so beautiful and you're such a handsome man and on and on and on you know as mom does every time we go out but that's her perky day that's her day where she can socialize and have fun and I walk her around the store but one of the things she's gotten into the habit of doing, we'll go down an aisle, there's nobody there, just us. If somebody comes down the aisle, she'll tell me, she's coming, there's there's two of them, there's one of them, there's two of them. I'm like, mom, it's okay, they can come down the aisle. It's okay, you know, um, just reassuring her. Well, anyway, the other thing that's been happening, and. Uh, I'm just totally wiped, I mean totally wiped out, is that, oh, I forgot the monitor. I better go get it, just a sec. I had to go in my room and turn it on. Oh, please, I hope, <laughs> I hope she's gone to sleep for good. We just got back from taking my son out, and of course with the time change, um, I think it's, Let's say six o'clock. I'm not sure what time it is. It's actually seven o'clock, right? Because we put our clocks back. Anyway, for the past week or two, week or two, because it's been that long and I'm really exhausted. Mom will say, you should be sitting down. We'll be, I'll, I'll join her in the evening with supper and we're watching TV together. And I can see she's kind of getting a little dozy. And I'd say, you know, are you ready for bed? pretty soon she'd say, or in a few minutes or whatever, just, you know, another, so I said, okay, so I'll wait another 15 minutes or so. And then I'll say, mom, are you ready for bed? She'll say, yes. So I take her into the room and 
she goes in, I get her, you know, we have to do the whole hygiene routine in the bathroom. Get undressed, get ready for bed. I get her all tucked in. I get her hearing aid taken out because she can't wear that to sleep and um, get her all ready, get her tucked in and everything else. Put on the monitor and come in here and try and do a few things. I haven't been able to do any crafting because she would go lay down and then she'd get up and she'd be playing around with her blankets. Then she'd lay back down. Then she'd get out of bed and she'd go and look outside. And if it's dark out, she'll kind of put her around and she'll go back and lay down again. Oh, sometimes this will go on for about an hour. Now, when it, now that it's getting a like, she, I'm trying to keep her up longer. And like I say, you know, it's it's about 6.30. I'm not even sure what time it is. Whatever. <laughs> um, so then she goes down for a sleep. And then I'm going, great. Now I can get some things done. I want to run down and do a load of laundry, which I haven't been doing. Or I want to, you know, do a quick vacuum. She can't hear a thing, so it's okay. Um, tidy up, do the dishes, clean the kitchen, whatever. Get on, on YouTube or or whatever and get some stuff done and and then I end up you know looking at some stuff and I end up staying up past 10 o'clock and then by 11 11 30 mom's waking up again just as I am I'm in bed I even if I go to bed at eight o'clock and lay in bed and put a movie on or something the monitor does kind of when there's a lot of movement, it will do kind of a beeping noise, which is really annoying if you're sleeping. Beep, you know, wakes you up, which is great for kids and great for, for whatever. But lately, she's been getting up, puttering around her room. She'll come out if all everything's dark. She'll open her door and look out. And if she doesn't see me, and I lately, I've been not closing it tight, but closing it. So there's just a little crack because if it's closed, she won't come into my room. Although she doesn't come into my room anyway, but I just thought it kind of would, you know, can't go in that room, can't go there, you know, and everything's dark. She goes back in her room. She it comes out for like two seconds, looks around, goes back in her room, closes her door, putters around her room, goes back to bed. Then she'll get up again in about an hour or so. And for the last, like I say, the last week, every boat, every second night, two o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, five o'clock in the morning, you know, and I am not sleeping and I can't, I can't function. I can't, I can't think of, you know, videos I want to do. I can't think of, you know, I'm just exhausted. So tonight she's gone to bed. And as far as I can tell, she's out for the count. <laughs> I'm going to go to bed as soon as this video is over. I am going to bed, get nice and comfy, go to bed, and hopefully not watch a movie. Just go to bed, close my eyes, and hopefully sleep. And then if she wakes up, I'm, I'm more refreshed. And I set my alarm for six, seven, and eight. Three alarms I set just to remind myself. So if my alarm goes off at six and I check and she's still sleeping, I'll turn the alarm off and I'll go back to sleep. And then at seven, if I the alarm goes off, if she's not awake and moving around, I'll go back to sleep. Nine times out of 10, she's up around seven, 7.15. And that's what has been her norm. Occasionally she would get up at five, but if nothing's going on and it's still dark out, she'll go back, back to bed but it is so disruptive of my sleep and I'm going, oh, God. I just want to sleep. I want to sleep for 24 hours. Just close my eyes and sleep for 24 hours and not wake up. <laughs> anyway, so that has been my last, actually it's been about two weeks, last couple of weeks. And knock on wood, we've been pretty healthy. Um, as you know, my daughter's a nurse and uh, every day she has to test for COVID every single day. And uh, we went to visit her on last Wednesday. And um, usually I get big hugs and we talk and, you know, 
but it was kind of a quick, quick visit. And we were mostly outside, but she did give us a hug. Well, Thursday morning or Friday morning, Friday morning, she tested herself. She had COVID. <sighs> Scared the hell out of me. And she, and she is more worried that mom and I have caught it. Well, we've tested every single day since Friday. We are fine. Um, I'm gonna continue testing um, every couple of days, you know, give it five days. You know, if we haven't got it in five days, we're not gonna get it. But just to think of all the time that we have all, my family, um, although my son did catch a, a, um, a pinch of it, um, not very severe, I'm very fortunate. My children are very healthy. Must have been the way I shoved vitamins into them all the time they were growing up. But um, they were always healthy kids, very healthy kids, and uh, good, strong immune systems. So even when my son got sick, 24 hours he's okay. You know, 48 at the top. So I think when they got COVID um, in their family, I think her son brought it home from school and uh, she got it, and then my son got it, and then, you know, they all got it, um, but all m very mild cases. So um, anyway, we're, we're checking it out. We, so far, we're okay. And, um, and I wear masks, except for when I'm at my daughter's or my son's, I don't wear a mask, but since last Wednesday, well, we wear a mask everywhere we go. I don't care what people say. It's still out there. It's still prevalent. I'm going to continue wearing it until it's less common in public places. It's less common um, that people are more getting colds and flu rather than actual COVID. So when when that subsides, and I think it's going to take a year or two, I, I, I think. Um, it depends. It depends on whether people are cautious or not. But we will continue, uh, as long as I'm looking after my mother, um, we will continue to wear our masks and we will take precautions and use um, uh, sanitary, you know, uh, hand sanitizer. And I have spray, antiseptic spray that I use on our clothing and on our, you know, shoes. I know it seems extreme, but she's 92 and I want her to be 100. So we're not taking chances. But she, my poor daughter, she is so upset. She goes, oh my God. I mean, she sent me a text. Oh my God, mom, I got, you know, tested for COVID and I hugged you and nanny and she's all upset. I said, don't worry. We don't feel anything. We're fine. We tested, um, we tested ourselves on Thursday, on Friday, on Saturday, on Sunday. Today's Monday night. We tested ourselves. Oh, I haven't tested myself today. I'll have to do that. But anyway, I mean, you know, we don't have to test every single day. It's just if we, you know, if we get a symptom or something. And um, it's almost a week. I mean, pretty, you know, it'll be a week on Wednesday. So another two days. And, you know, if we haven't got any symptoms, then we're not going to, you know, we're not going to get it. But So that has been my reason for not getting videos out for not doing crafts i am just so exhausted and it's because i'm sleep deprived and knock you know on my head when my, when i was a young mom when my daughter and i was home of course with my baby when she was a baby and and my son as well but but when I had my daughter two years before my son, but um, every single time she went for a nap, I went for a nap, every time. Every time she went down for a nap, I went for a nap. And I, I knew the timing, you know, you know your own child, you know the timing. So I was never exhausted because I was getting extra sleep um, and she was a good baby. She slept through the night pretty well, you know, uh, soon, right away, I don't remember, you know, it's been 40 years, come on, I can't remember that, those details, but I do remember um, keeping her bundled up. My children have always had a window open in their room for fresh air at night and their door closed, 
Uh, they've always had warm covering sleepers and, and they've always slept well. They've always, you know, so I've been very, very lucky that I had good babies that slept well. Um, the only thing my son, with my son, when he was a baby, he needed to sleep in his own bed. He didn't sleep well in a carriage if you went out in a carriage. I mean, he would doze off, but he didn't sleep well. I couldn't rock him. I mean, I tried rocking him to sleep, but he didn't want, he wanted his bed. And as soon as he was in his bed, he was out like a light. And he was up six o'clock every single morning, that child. And even to this day, he doesn't need an alarm clock. He's up at five or six to go to work. I was lucky I had good babies, you know. Um, but with mom, why don't I use that same logic I used when the kids were babies? Why didn't I, every time mom wanted to lay down, why didn't I nap? And I found myself so exhausted a couple of days ago, so exhausted, I laid on the couch, mom and we were watching TV. I fell asleep. I totally fell asleep. And, um, Mom woke up, mom came over and touched me. And she said, are you all right? I said, oh yes, mom, I just, I was tired. I was just having a sleep. She said, oh, that's okay. You look after yourself. So she comes out with these very logical things sometimes. You know, her conversation and her recognition sometimes is spot on and other times is totally out in left field. But so that's my day that is that has been my week i apologize for not having any videos up i have been you know uh gathering stuff for my blessing bags or random act of kindness bags whatever you want to call them um those are the the children's ones are all ready i just have to put the scarves in them um they're all ready to go. It's the adult ones I just have to do. I'm Right now, I am too exhausted to do anything. So forgive me, I don't know how many videos I'll be able to put up this week. I need to sleep and I can feel it in my eyes. You know, you, when your eyes start to hurt because you're just awake too much. So that has been the last couple of days, you know, I, I'm just exhausted. So I am going to take a little bit of time I'm hoping I do have a haul. I'm going to I'm going to quickly record that after I do this and put it up so you'll at least have two visit two videos this week from me. Um I have some great ideas and um I'll probably uh, explain it in the haul because I think that they are just super cute ideas and um and what I bought, I bought the last two. So I'm hoping that what my plan is, is going to work out okay. Um, and that's it for me for today. I'm sorry, guys. I am so tired. I really want to go to bed before mom gets up. She's still sleeping in the same position. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that she'll go to bed. So, uh that's an update that's what's going on and i apologize for not having any videos up this week i really am i'm sorry about that i have so many um ideas and i've been watching uh dina i've been watching gail i've been watching there's a couple of people um strawberry something pink strawberry i forget oh there's so many um i should actually do a video um, you probably already know who these people are, but they are talented to the point where you almost feel too uh, amateurish to, to do any of the, the wonderful, wonderful ideas that they have and what they're coming up with. So um, anyway, I, I got to try a couple of them. There's a couple of them I want to put a twist on, but I just got to get some sleep first. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me. Sorry I didn't have tea with me today, um, but I'm not going to have tea before I go to bed because I will be up. I mean, not, I'm not usually. I usually can have a cup of tea and go to sleep, but I don't want to take any chances. And I'm not even going to put a movie on. I'm just going to go to bed, turn off all the lights, and go to sleep. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for subscribing, being part of the 
crazy family that I have over here and um, and such love and so on for mom. I really appreciate it. And um, we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.